If you're new to brazing, there's a tendency to make this more complicated than it actually is. Now in this video, I show how to light the torch, set the flame, and then brace two pieces of mild steel together. Now I chose mild steel because it's perhaps the easiest material to brace. So once you get this, go into your workshop, start bracing some mild steel together, and do this over and over until you get it, and then you'll be ready to move on to the more challenging aspects of brazing. Now at the end of this video, I've shown the titles of free videos on my website. Now these are all related to the oxygen settling torch. And I'd suggest checking these out because there's a lot of good ideas that you can use with your oxygen settling torch. Open the acetylene knob, light the torch, stop right here. I want to get rid of that black soot because that black soot will put impurities in the brazed joint. Add more acetylene to get rid of the black soot. I'll add more acetylene until I get this acetylene feather. Turning the oxygen knob to begin introducing oxygen into the acetylene flame. Continuing to add oxygen until I have a neutral flame. This small cone closest to the torch tip is a neutral flame. Now it appears green here because I'm using a filter, but to the naked eye, the cone will be blue. Here are two pieces of mild steel which are 5 16 inch in diameter. Since these pieces are the same diameter, I'll heat them up evenly. Playing the torch flame over both pieces so that they're evenly heated, getting them to red hot, and then placing the brazing rod in between the torch flame and the metal to be brazed. Here's the finished brazed joint once it has cooled down and been wire brushed. Here's an example of when the base metal, in this case the 5 16 inch rods, are not heated to red hot. What happens in this case is just depositing a glob of bronze on the rod. That glob will probably just flick right off. No holding power whatsoever. Here I'm going to heat the joint up. You see that it's past red hot, it's going into yellow hot, and then white hot, where the steel actually begins to melt, and this is what you get. Just this soot and the fumes. As you can see, when the torch flame is moved away from the brazed joint, the brazed joint is pitted. It's just not a smooth braze. Now this is an easy braze to do, because both pieces are the same diameter, so I can heat them evenly, bringing them up to red hot. Also, it's a good quality of mild steel. Once I move beyond the easy braze, then I have to make adjustments. For example, brazing lighter material to heavier material, or copper to steel or copper to stainless steel. Depending upon the work, you may need to change to a larger or a smaller brazing tip. You may find situations where the carbonizing flame works better than the neutral flame. Instead of always holding the brazing tip perpendicular to the work, rotating the torch is helpful in certain conditions, especially when brazing lighter materials to heavier materials. Once you have mastered a simple brace like this, it is only a matter of making small adjustments to being able to braise almost anything you want to braise.